you know, maybe you really did something wrong and it was, it was your fault, you were negligent, so you're gonna get sued. So. <laughs> guys it's Anana and I am back just with another update on my week of PA school this week thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like this video if you already haven't done so go ahead and check my page out see some more of my other week up weekly updates I have them in a playlist for you so go ahead and check that out subscribe if you haven't done so and go ahead and leave a comment and share this video and check my GoFundMe page out. It's gonna be in the description box below. All right, so guys, this week in PA school, we learned about basically the legal aspect of being in medicine because you know, you have to have malpractice because people will sue you because they don't like your hair. You know, you didn't give them their narcotics or something, so they're upset. Or, you know, maybe you really did something wrong and it was, it was your fault, you were negligent, so you're gonna get sued, so. <laughs> that wasn't funny! Have malpractice insurance. Don't let your malpractice insurance lapse. And that's basically what we were talking about this week. Um, in my Intro to the Profession course, we learned about the necessity of the legal system and how it works with healthcare. So um, one of the points that I really took kind of like to heart and stuff, it was talking about apologizing. Our, my teacher, he is the director of the program and he's also like a lawyer or going to be a lawyer. He's really like, this guy like does not sleep. I swear he's constantly in school. He was just giving us some information on like his experience, his, his mistakes in the past and what he's learned and how he's come to appreciate the law. And he stated that apologizing does not increase your guilt so you know like it's okay like a lot of times I feel like when we do something wrong it's hard for us to apologize not just in healthcare but just in general we don't want to like apologize and say we were wrong because that means we were wrong Duh. and who wants to be wrong right you you want to be right but it's important it's important for uh, the people that you may have wronged uh, to know that you are sorry uh, that you recognize it because that kind of shows like all right you know this person re realizes it they're not going to do that again so that was something that really 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 I stuck to I thought like that was amazing and really cool it also talked about negligence in and of itself so you know there is like direct liability there is negligence like for your organization like if they knew that you had a propensity to be like a bad practitioner then they will be liable as well if something goes wrong and so it was like cool and really interesting understanding just the legal framework of negligence and how that worked we talked about the respondent superior which was the idea or the thought that like you know you're the subservient pa let the master the superiors physician answer um which really isn't like the case anymore if you are following the patient then you answer the questions as opposed to just because the physician is in now they answer it no that they're your patient you answer the question do you answer the questions that the patient is asking because you have been the one that's following them you know them so with otp that is optimal team practice which is giving pas a little bit more autonomy to practice this whole like negligence and um all of this legal framework kind of shifts a little because you don't necessarily need a physician to sign off on anything. So you're kind of like standing alone even more so um, with regards to the decisions that you're making. So it's important when you're doing your contracts and all of that um, to make sure that everything is exactly as you want. You know, you don't want to sign a contract that says every time you sign off on a chart, a physician wants to sign off on that chart. If that's not the framework that you're working in. If you're at a hospital and you don't have a physician there with you and you're signing off on these charts, but your contract says that every time you sign off on a chart, a physician needs to approve it, then you're in breach of that contract and you're negligent if, and you're responsible if something happens. So it's important to definitely look at your contracts and make sure that that is well written. Um, have somebody that is legal 
<laughs> like get a lawyer, some someone to look at that thing and make sure that it is on point. And that is one thing that I learned. And I really appreciate learning that now, only eight weeks in, because we're going to be negotiating our contracts in under two years. So it's going to be important for us to make sure that we're aware of the fine print. So I also, we also talked about the thin line between humility and being cocky. And there is a thin, very, very thin line between the two. You know, there's, it's okay. It's okay to be confident. It's okay to be, you know, really, really like you know your stuff, but don't be cocky. Be humble. It's okay to, you know, be like, you know what? I don't really know the answer to this. Let me go ahead and find somebody who probably knows the answer or who may be better versed in this. You're in a team practice, so go ahead and talk to the nurse that may have seen it. It's okay to be like, hey, you know, I've never seen this before. Um, have you ever dealt with something like this? Do you know what to do in this situation? Has another PA dealt with this? And they're, they're there to help you, they're there. So it's okay to bring people into the team and that is a good thing to just foster that inner professional work relationship. It's be humble, don't be cocky. This week we also looked at um, a couple cases where people stepped out of their bounds, um, the practitioners stepped out of their scope of practice and there was like a big lawsuit and it was just showing us how negligence comes into play like what you're responsible to do and what you're legally not able to do and, and just kind of melding the two not doing defensive medicine so not just being like oh, okay so i'm gonna just throw everything at this person i'm gonna light them up i'm gonna give them drugs i'm gonna do whatever they ask for so that i am covering all my bases that i am not gonna ever be sued two years down the line from any of these people that I see. So and we were talking about that and how it's not good to do that. Don't do that. Do what is best for your patient. You have a responsibility to treat, but to do no harm. And so just getting all of that information in a nice little packet and, um, and understanding how that all flows in this healthcare system. So it was really, really cool. Really glad that I got that information. Definitely, I think I'm going to need like another two or three classes on this because it's going to be very important come my, not necessarily my fellowship year, I guess, but at the end of that fellowship year when I'm trying to negotiate contracts. I'm going to need to know this information. I'm going to need to know, hey, this is uh, a good contract. This is not a good contract. I don't want to sign this because of this reason. And it's not always about the money. It's really about what do what's going to work best for you as a practicing practitioner. So um, I suggest that you guys go ahead and check out some of these websites. I know um, APA has some good information on um, just the legal framework with regards to healthcare, and also the American Academy of PAs in Legal medicine that is also somewhere that you can go i know um my teacher did say that they give um free advice um some do pro bono work if you are in a little legal bind and also um i know that they also uh kind of negotiate contracts for people so if you're in that in that like realm right now if you're trying to negotiate your contract hit that website up and maybe you'll find some money that can help you out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Join me next week for another What to Expect in PA School. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Go ahead and hit up the description box for my GoFundMe page and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other questions. Again, this is like all my opinion on what I have learned, okay? <laughs> nothing, nothing else. No entities behind this. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week.